Oh, uh, hello? Yeah, you're in for the $2,000 a month package. Great, you got the money? Fantastic. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to close $2,000 per month clients for your company. I'll show you three tips and I'll also give you two bonus tips for how to close clients at that price point. Now, my name is John Cristani. I'm an internet entrepreneur and I ran a marketing agency where I was routinely closing clients at $10,000 per month or even more. And I'm gonna show you some of my tips and tactics for how I was able to use this little guy right here to make some of these guys. Hey, John Cristani here, and I started my own social media marketing agency back in 2010. And at that time, I was only taking on clients that were paying me anywhere from $250 to $500 a month. But when I started using these tips and techniques that I'm gonna show you right here in this video, I was able to move up and close clients at five, 10, and even $25,000 per month for my marketing agency that I ran and I owned completely. And I'll go over each of these techniques that I used right here. So the first tip is kind of obvious if, if you've been studying sales for any length of time and it's ask a lot of questions. Now in the beginning, maybe in the first five minutes that you're speaking with somebody or in the first couple minutes, even less than that, you'll be doing 80% of the talking, they'll be doing 20%. Does that make sense? You 80 them 20. But as you move along in the conversation, maybe after the first two or three minutes, they should be doing 80% of the talking and you should be doing 20%. And the way you get that to happen is you ask a lot of questions. Again, this isn't about you. This is about them. Your ego has no place in doing sales. If you want to be a successful person financially, your ego and what you want does not matter at all. I'm going to say that again. What you have to say and your ego and your wants and your desires and your stories and your family or whatever does not matter at all when you're doing sales or marketing. The only thing that matters is the customer because the customer has your money. If you want to talk, if you want to find a friend, don't go into sales or marketing because again, it's about them. It's not about you. The other thing you want to take note of, the second tip, is that you want to ask open-ended questions. Okay, you don't want to ask questions such as, how are you today? What are they going to say? I'm fine. There's really nowhere to go from there. Or you say, oh, do you like marketing? Are you interested in doing Facebook ads? Yeah. You can't really get in a conversation if you are not asking open-ended questions. What you want to do is you say, what, what marketing tactics have you tried in your business so far, sir? Or what has been your experience with using Facebook as you know, a marketing tool? Or what sites are your customers using online? Ask open-ended questions. I guess the, the best one would be, I would say, asking people, what have you tried marketing-wise in your business so far? Because the assumption there, if you're running a marketing agency, is that you're going to get them to list out all the things that didn't work for them. What forms of marketing are you currently doing in your business right now? Most business owners, maybe they'll name out a couple things. They'll say, oh, I'm doing flyers, I'm doing Yelp, I'm doing Facebook ads. And then you ask, how are those working out for you? Oftentimes, business owners don't have a scalable, fulfilling source of marketing for their business. So if you're trying to close them, get them to hang themselves. Get them to list out all the things that don't work for their business. Because usually they're on the phone with you because their phones aren't ringing off the hook every day with clients. Okay, so this is tip number three and this is actually my favorite one is challenge them. So after, at the close, at a certain point in the conversation, you might be saying, okay, you tried all these things and failed and eventually the client will say, okay, well, who are you? What do you have to offer? Why are you talking to me? Are you, you have something that's, that's gonna change my situation, sir? And you'll say, well, possibly. And you know, you talk about your packages. You say, hey, we have, you know, we have three different 
packages. Let's say you do social media, you know, management. You do social media management and branding and you also do social media management, branding and advertising. And with each package, you should tie it back to if you do all three, you're gonna make the most amount of money. Let's say they all cost $100. So you tell them, you ask them. Most people, when you're starting an agency and you, you name your packages, most people say, I wanna go for the cheapest one because I don't wanna spend, you know, I wanna try you out before we get into bed together, right? I wanna date before we sleep together. Makes sense. I wanna crawl before I walk or I wanna walk before I run, right? But that's no fun, right? You don't wanna end up with a lame sale. You wanna close clients at $2,000 a month which is more than the average bear. So what you wanna do is you wanna ask them, how aggressive do you wanna be? Ask the business owner, you challenge them. How aggressive do you wanna be? How much are you willing to actually go in on this? Are you willing to do this the right way? Again, you wanna challenge them. And most business owners, they have a little big bit of an ego and they're in business because they want, you know, because they're, they're winners. Let's face it, if you're running a business, if you're in, if you're in a position to hire a social media marketing agency and spend $2,000 a month on a whim, then you're a winner in some area of life or business, or you're an expert or whatever. And those people are competitive by nature. Winners are competitive by nature. So you challenge the business owner. How aggressive do you wanna be? Or make them seem like, oh, you only wanna go for the smallest package? Because you know, when you challenge a business owner, you say, oh, you just wanna go for the wimpy, you being wimpy, most people go for the more aggressive package if you challenge them. That works out a lot. Most business owners have a lot more respect for people who challenge them too. It's that weird, weird situation. Now I'm gonna give you two bonus tips in this. First off is I encourage you follow Jordan Belfort's channel, The Wolf of Wall Street. That guy is crazy at sales. People think Grant Cardone's good. Go follow Jordan Belfort. The guy, he is the wolf of Wall Street and he's pretty good at sales. And I studied his stuff way before the movie and it works, okay? And his system is called the straight line system and there's a few interesting things he talks about in there. So what he says is, in your entire persona, everything about you, you need to come across enthusiastic as sharp as attack and a figure of authority. If you don't come across as those three things, most people won't wanna buy from you. If you're a negative Nancy, get out of here. If you're not sharp, if you're not quick with it, if you're always having to say, okay, hold on, let me check with my manager, let me check with my boss, you sound like a beta man or a beta woman. And if you don't come across as an authority, then why do I wanna deal with you? I wanna deal with authorities. This is how I choose the people I hire as well. Now the second tip I have from Jordan Belfort is the one that actually I believe is the best tip he's ever given and it's changed just how I talk, frankly. And it's speaking with a downward sloping tonality. Hi, I'm John Cristani, more authoritative. As opposed to, if you pick up the phone, hey, it's John Cristani, how are you doing? And you feel it's a salesperson when tonality is upward sloping. Hey, it's John Cristani. Hey, how's it going? Right, it's begging, it's, 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 it's beta. It's a beta form of tonality if you upward slope. Hey, it's John Cristani. How's it going? Let's do something fun. Where do you want to go? I'm, I'm from the company Pendragon Labs. It sounds like you're asking for something. It, you're looking for validation if you have upward sloping. Whereas I have to say, hey, it's John Cristani. I was, I was wondering if we could talk for a few minutes. It seems authoritative. Hey, it's John Cristani from Pendragon Labs. It's, it's just authoritative. And you use the downward slope as opposed to the upward slope and you're going to come across as more authoritative and people are going to be hanging on the edge of their seats waiting for what? you say next. So check that out. Try using it. Try having fun with it. And you'll see, play around with tonality, play around with enthusiasm, play around with coming across as an authority figure. And you can have a lot of fun in life and you can supercharge your sales and take it to the next level. And again, close those clients for $2,000 a month or more. Have a good day and make sure if you like this video, let me know what was your favorite way to learn how to close clients. Was it questions? Was it open-ended questions? Was it challenging them? Or was it the tonality stuff I talked about? Let me know in the comments below what was the most effective or what, what is the most impactful tip for you 
And also let me know if you want me to talk about more about sales. If you say more sales in the comments, I'll do more sales videos. I know sales. I'm good at it. I wasn't always good at it, but I can tell you a little bit about that. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Talk to y'all soon.